Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another, or the first in series of the episodes. I tried, I tried this map, I didn't try this one. Um, uh, the first of the episodes are gonna make, it's a kind of tutorial how to start uh, fa fabric production, or clothing production. Both fabrics and clothing, we're gonna do both of them uh, uh, on hard difficulty. Hard difficulty is quite hard, and we're gonna, it's, it's quite hard, I have to say. Uh, but I was practicing a lot, I was trying a lot of different stuff and setups and how to make it the most efficient whatever 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 so I decided to make it a video now this is not gonna be hard for one reason it's gonna be custom because for making YouTube videos it's really bad when you have night it's really not visible anything isn't visible nothing is visible so I'm gonna disable day and night cycle in this case so it's gonna jump here from custom if I enable it it's gonna go back to hard so this is a perfectly hard difficulty and we're gonna start on that we're gonna start with people as well but we're not gonna use any population there we're gonna I don't like the roads I just like the roads I don't know I think the <laughs> map author created really nice roads now I'm gonna choose one spot on the map that uh, actually I didn't even practice on this is gonna be a new spot but I kind of think it's okay it's close to to Soviet border and that's kind of important in this case and it has a flatlands I, I tried for example this little little nice bendy area here uh, I was testing it in this area here which is also nice if you wish to start there it has fertile fields and some some space for town but we're gonna start in this area here near Colata uh, town Colata. It has really nice windy roads here and I love this road going up and down. So we're gonna start in this little plateau. I think this is one of the biggest plateaus in the game so you can make a lot of different stuff here. We're gonna make our town here. So <clears throat> first things first I'm gonna tell you I'm we're gonna do a couple of for like a lot of jump cuts. I'm gonna just remove this road here and I'm gonna build one road going through the middle. This is more or less flat grounds here so it's it's not really that uh, that, that bad but uh, we're gonna make gravel road like let's say here I think this is perfect so I'm gonna let it finish and we're gonna pause again just because I would like to I need to build a lot of stuff in in uh, uh, dollars as well we're already two and a half minutes into this video and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible though as digestible as possible this is how we like it on the right hand side I'm gonna make our industries and uh, farms and uh, industries and farms and on the left hand side is gonna be our town um, it's, go it's gonna be nice I'm gonna jump cut now I'm gonna go come back when I set up our industry see you in a second right here we go uh, welcome back <laughs> it only took a second for you but we're gonna speed this up for it to be finished so we have two uh, clothing factories to uh, one fabric factory we have a um, we have uh, a little thing called the warehouse here, which we're going to be used, using to supply ourselves with um, <coughs> with uh, some other materials like electrical components and mechanical components. That's initially we can designate a different warehouse, but for now we're going to do it like this. All of this is connected to each other, except this one here that I missed. And... <coughs> This should be working perfectly fine. Uh, of course, this factory here doesn't require any workers because it doesn't have any products to process and we're not gonna be buying food. We're gonna be waiting for the food to come from the fields, I think. Or maybe we can even import food and then make... We definitely need to import chemicals, that's true. If we import food... We can start production straight away. You know what? Let's do this. Let's let's. I I didn't try it like this, but I think it could be even better solution than actually buying fabrics. Fabrics are really really expensive, uh, 401 per ton. Now this is our industrial neighborhood, and uh, it should all be well connected as well with the pedestrian passages. But I know that this one here doesn't have ideal location, so I'm just gonna connect it a little bit better like this. And this should be more or less okay. Let's see if we can make it a little bit better, like doing something like this. Just like this. I think this is fine. And then something that, that, that will make our people come here faster to work. It's closer. Anyway, let's. I'm going to continue on building a neighborhood on this side. And uh, I'm going to show you how it's going to look in uh, just... A, I'm going to start with four buildings. I'm going to leave some space for additional ones. Uh, but we're going to continue with that. Let me show you how that's going to look. I'm going to jump cut, jump cut now and see you in a second. 
Right, here we go. Okay, so we have... I am finishing a couple of uh, last things. A couple of times I, I spent more money than I was supposed to. Uh, by the way, I did things like this. Uh, I bought... Uh, the one thing you really... Uh, if you like to be as efficient as possible, you gotta have to buy the Westerner Spy uh, Harvester because this has speed level 32 and the ones that Soviet Union can offer us... Uh, or Soviet countries is the Soviet Union harvester which has speed or level 22 much lower harvesting so save some bucks for this and then spend the rest of it at least uh, that's why I spend the rest of it on the construction as much as I can and then I continue constructing with the with the rubles so in this case here uh, this is how I'm imagining it being looking um, <clears throat> we have a bus station here we still didn't connect it properly with uh, our own uh, pedestrian network so let's go somewhere like here and then here and let's see if this is gonna perfect perfect and uh, now this is gonna be a little bit wonky probably yes we can just remove a little bit and then try to connect it in two different ways can we make it of course we can in the middle, yes, all uh, Captain America. This is what this symbolizes. So we can do this and then connection like this. Just want this, all of this connected well. So for example, this school definitely needs to be connected as close as possible to here. Unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit more challenging. So we can do something like, like a so. And then may maybe a little bit shorter, for example, <clears throat> and we can wind it. Oh, this is not bad. I like the design. Uh, fine, fine, fine. Pub, of course. Pub has to be well connected to the <coughs> to our people. Uh, yes, the pub might have an issue a wee bit, a connection issue. We can cut it a bit here, and. <coughs> Yeah, it looks a little bit spider webby, but uh, the most important thing is works. Uh, build. Um, I have built a hospital. I'm gonna put two vehicles in there. I'm build a firehouse. I'm gonna put two vehicles in there. I'm gonna lower the staff numbers because they don't really require. Oh yeah, they don't really require that much. Um, I'm gonna go with. 15 15 i think that's fine here we're gonna cut the stuff by half just we don't want a lot of people working here for no reason stores as well stores is i think i think we're gonna go with this for now uh cinema three max schools maximum 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 pub two three okay let's go with three bus stops nobody works here all right uh, i think we're set for this one so we have everything that our people need more or less i'm gonna continue building now and just to see maybe we will gonna need something else we're gonna focus on electricity now i'm gonna bring us uh, some medium voltage wires i think they're a little bit cheaper there's a electrical uh, uh, crossing there so i'm gonna bring us some electricity and let's connect everything up and see how we can uh, proceed from there see you in a sec right here we go uh i just imported some power uh one ten percent one t uh, one megawatt uh power is coming here we, we both built one substation here this can be revamped later if you guys wish and we built one substation here so all of our stuff is connected to electricity now and all of it should be working uh, we will still need some uh, so technically all of this is done we're done with uh, the the most of the stuff here um, the thing that we're not done with let's see here they're missing fabrics uh, we need workers in here let's see if workers are well connected they're connected to all four buildings that's fine and we need to see if workers are connected they are connected to all four buildings so that's one is work that one is working as well <coughs> we will connect it more or you can connect it a bit more like here in the in between but the most important thing is this is working um, <coughs> this is set up we only need 
production to start. We have our tractors working on these fields. Uh, it's gonna take a while because they are huge fields. I built four fields as well, you probably noticed that. And <coughs> all the machinery is here. We're gonna populate machinery here and of course we need to assign these buildings to for, for construction for our uh, companies can start constructing our own stuff uh, I will not show you this in this tutorial I will buy everything that we need but uh, let's say roads and other stuff you can start constructing straight away now <clears throat> we're gonna build some of that basic industry quite close to the city we need the petrol stations we need that kind of stuff one petrol station and we need the uh, asphalt base and we need the uh, concrete uh, production and gravel and uh, those materials like boards and uh, prefabs and stuff like that um, let me set this up, all of, all of this up, and let me show you how we're gonna do, how, what, what I think is a nice way of doing it. Okay, here we go. So I built a small warehouse here. We built a small uh, well, a concrete plant, asphalt plant, and a small storage here. I built a petrol station here, but this place is reserved for the buildings. If I continue playing this game, I would probably build four more buildings around here, just so we have enough population going on. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna auto-purchase these important stuff. Everything except the logs is important in this case. Um, in this case here, we're gonna need gravel here uh, that is perfectly fine just the gravel here we're gonna have to purchase both gravel and cement so you can continue on and here we're gonna have to purchase bitumen and gravel and there we go all of this is now fully functional now we're gonna go and populate our vehicle base so I usually I do with a bus covered hull this fast vehicle well faster than this one so I like covered to be this one dumper two dumpers open hull has to be a big vehicle so you can carry our other vehicles and cr biggest cranes I think these guys can carry other vehicles as well but not the cranes so I always take this one so bulldozer we have road crane we need the concrete mixer one paver one the roller one and tower crane big one we're gonna do the same for this one as well so we're gonna go for a uh, Skoda bus 85 kilometers per hour 40 people transport covered hull is gonna be the same dumper times two open hull is gonna be this one we have a road crane concrete mixer paver roller and tower crane the big one and it's fully populated now we're gonna do another thing we need to assign um, we're gonna slowly let them play we're gonna uh, assign first the bus station then we need gravel then we need asphalt plant and then concrete plant and then we need for electronical components and the rest of the stuff and there here we go this one has everything assigned we're gonna do it with the, the other one gravel concrete asphalt people electrical components and the rest of the stuff here we go we have two fully function functioning um, two fully functioning construction yards and you can start building your own stuff now one other thing we forgot to build I'm gonna build it now is the road vehicle depot uh, this is important because we need uh, to start exporting stuff and I think this is the this is okay place like I said in my own version if I played I would leave this space for the buildings but this is just the most convenient thing to do now for us I'm just gonna place it here I'm gonna buy two covered hull vehicles which we have here already but let's go to covered hull these long ones and uh, I'm gonna set them I'm gonna give them tasks to do so I'm gonna give them to go to the warehouse and then to the border crossing in the warehouse you're gonna pick up clothes and on the border crossing you're gonna sell clothes I'm gonna set you off you may leave and the other one we're gonna just copy the same schedule and I can set this one as well they're gonna be waiting in queues here to to pick up all the clothes that is being constructed we need fabric is not being made for some reason Oh, of course. We don't have any workers set to work here. But uh, should we... No, let, let them function on its own. I'm going to speed this uh, game up. I'm going to show you the final results. I think we have everything set up here. Spirituality, oh, you're not getting anything in our uh, communist society. Any, anything like that is definitely banned. And also, while we wait for our vehicles... Ooh. 
while we wait for our vehicle so we can... Um, Okay, here we go. We're already producing some fabrics. Uh, come on, chop chop. There, these guys are operating without any issues. These guys should be producing fabrics in no time. But let's see. Let's speed this up just a wee bit to see. Yes, we have stuff happening here. Probably they have to come to a certain level of production. So I'm gonna give them more people to work here. 30, 40, 50. Um, yes, we are not purchasing any fabrics. We are producing our own homemade fabrics. Of course, we are buying food. Um, and while we wait here, I'm gonna upgrade all this road all the way to the border crossing. And then we're gonna come back. See you in a sec. Okay, we have upgraded all uh, road all the way to the border crossing and I left it a uh, design like the map authors left it and I really love the design of the road and don't think I'm gonna change it maybe ever, it just looks amazing. Even if we switch to asphalt, which is not gonna be anytime soon, I don't believe so. Uh, here we go, our guys are producing stuff, but I'm afraid that this is not enough fabric for them to be working full uh, at the full capacity so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna purchase I'm gonna give them uh, free hands with purchasing this uh, purchasing fabric here just so we can speed up the production and uh, get statistics on the exports and sales and also that's gonna give us some time to, to uh, process um, uh, crops from the fields so I think everything is working here. I might just real quickly revamp and add more buildings here because they require much, much more people to work in them. And uh, yeah, okay, let's see each other in like six months or so uh, after everything is functioning. See in, a few, see in a few. Okay, so this is the final look of our uh, settlement. This is the six buildings that we built, so I constructed six of, six of them all together. Um, population is slowly declining because of the lack of spirituality. I'm not sure if that's the only thing, but uh, there you go. I built another kindergarten just so we can uh, tackle the problem of workers not working. But all in all... Oh, 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 I built those. Um, oh, the uh, petrol station is here now. A uh, couple of fields, they're actually free. Uh, notice from the first um, harvest that um, we actually <laughs> devoured all the harvest in, like, in days. So we expanded on the fields and I'm pretty sure that our uh, machinery can tackle it. We have the four tractors, four harvesters, uh, four, um, uh, four lorries uh, covered hull so we can uh, pack our grain in and uh, we expanded on the fields i added two more big fields here i added one more big field here and altogether four medium-sized fields yeah uh we're gaining oh uh, yeah money wise <clears throat> let's see here currently this month uh, as of first of august we're already in positive but let's check the whole last month the last month kind of differs kind of makes some um, it can be better, it can be worse, but for example, if we go to, let's say, last two months, we earned all together, like, I think two months is a better, uh, 40,000, just, uh, just under 40,000. So, to recap, uh, we have our settlement here, uh, we have buildings in the middle, we have this side covered with um, all the amenities people, people need, have, like, need um, bus station it's not really being used because we do require a lot more workers so that would be the next step if you guys gonna continue playing something like this with this kind of plan so industrial neighborhood here I would be cutting down on those and uh, starting our own production for like say quarried stone or better sources here in the mountains and uh, yeah, maybe we're making better roads. I think these gravel roads are perfectly fine for now, but for the future might not be. Yeah, definitely expanding on the population because we require a much, uh, much more workers. And yeah, but this is perfectly sustainable. So if we recap here one more time for last month and um, let's go for several more months, for example. Um, we covered here plus 70,000 last four months, I believe. 
April, May, June, July. Yes, in four months, 70,000. That's a fine and steady income, uh, given that we are playing on the hardest difficulty. Anyway, there you go, guys. Hopefully this helps. I hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, press notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Is this viable for you? Uh, only thing better that we could have done is build this settlement somewhere in town where we have a church that will then the spiritual need would be met for our people. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.